This is such a great spot to sit here and film because no one is um, bother you here. And I'm looking at this group of surfers right there. I'll film it right here so that I can. I'm looking at this group of surfers right here. Anyway, <clears throat> so today I met this cool kid who's um, in college to be an EMT for the firefighters. And he'll be an M EMT before he's a firefighter. And um, I was, he was asking, how do I get pre-approved for a home loan? I actually let him know that uh, San Diego, he said he's gonna make $24 an hour starting and he's gonna get overtime, but I told him there's cases, conventional cases where you can get an exception for 12 months history of overtime. But other than that, he's gonna need two years. So I said, if I was you, I wouldn't wanna wait two years. I would wanna buy something if you have anybody in your family. I go, do you have anybody in your family that would be um, a co-signer or would wanna live with you? He said, yeah. I said, so then you, you could use their income as well. That's called a non-occupant co-borrower or just a co-borrower. If, if it's a co-borrower, they're gonna live there with you. If it's a non-occupant co-borrower, then that's like a dad who's got um, you know, a, a wife and they don't want the kid to live with them, so maybe he is co-signing. You know, there's all kinds of reasons to co-sign. I just like making up stories. But, um, but yeah, you use the dad's income along with his income and then they're both of their liabilities, including the liability of the dad's uh, for at least taxes and insurance on the mortgage for the house that the dad lives in. Um, so maybe he doesn't have a mortgage, but anyways, beautiful here today in Encinitas. Check it out. It is, oh, I'm a little crooked there. There we go. Check it out. It's, I'm in Encinitas, California. Just got here from Dallas. Texas on my flight today here to um, do some look at some high-end homes this weekend I don't only do high-end homes but typically the ones in Orange County are so I'm actually doing an open house on Sunday um, in Long Beach and it's actually Belmont Shore where Janelle my son's mother and I she, Jake was born there we lived on St. Joseph in Belmont Shore, and it's really, really nice. Um, little beach community, tiny little streets, the parking was terrible. But I uh, loved it there and doing an open house for Lee Ann Canaday uh, and Krista Lee Canaday this weekend. It's actually Lee Ann's listing. Uh, 1.25 million for a two bedroom, one bath. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is a starter home in LA, Orange County and San Diego, I mean, a starter home for a single family. Um, meaning first time home buyer, I say starter home. So um, you can get a lot of condos in Orange County and LA and ev everywhere else, but typically they come with a hefty HOA and um, they're not all that they're cracked up to be all the time. But um, let's take a look around here. I'll show you, we can spy on the surfers here, right there. You see what I'm talking about. Nobody took it. Oh, did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Anyway, Apian Way. Um, I'll give you guys the address on the YouTube, on the shorts as well, so you can come find me if you want to get a great home. Um, maybe you can't decide if you want to live in Orange County or Los Angeles. Well, guess what? Um, Belmont Shore, Long Beach is right there on Pacific Coast Highway. And, um, and I think it's Brookhurst. No, not Brookhurst. Anyway, it's right north of Seal Beach, and pretty soon you're right in Huntington Beach, and you're in Orange County, so what a cool place to live Belmont Shore is, I think, is you're actually LA County, it's Long Beach, but it's gorgeous, quaint, a lot of Spanish-style homes. You know, that Belmont Shore is 
it's super affordable if you want to compare it to Corona Del Mar and Encinitas, where I'm at right now. Um, great place to live, still in LA County, and you're totally, um, there's good schools there in Long Beach, a lot of private schools too. Um, excellent real estate market, and um, you guys should check it out. Highly recommend Belmont Shore. Come see us one to four tomorrow, Sunday. All right, everybody. We're gonna climb these stairs. I'm gonna get my leg work today. Two, three, three, thirty-four. Woo! Oh, I'm sweating, man. Okay, here we go. Second step. Second set of, set of stairs. Dodgers at 6.30 or 6.10, I think. Woo! Shut that. I want you to save this video for when you're ready to buy a home. shop for a mortgage in 2023. Of course, you're gonna ask, what's the interest rate? Justin, how do I decide on which lender to go okay. with? Is it about rate and cost or is it about customer service? We give you three quotes alone. The amount of cash to close, your total payment amount, or interest rate, which one suits your needs better. Check to make sure the payment has impounds or not. Make sure you're comparing apples to apples. Those are the four things that you should do if I gave you four or six or three interest rate quotes. Uh, you're gonna compare them and go, I like the one where I only have to come in with 20 grand, Justin. 